Hi guys, Frank here from Build Your Own. I just actually did a video of this car, uh, going over the updates, the check engine lights no longer on and all of that. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. The reason why I'm doing this video is I'm going to try this uh, Lucas Oil Products Octane Booster. So it's got three times the boost. It's a racing formula. Uh, I bought this at you know one of the auto parts stores. I was on Amazon looking at all the reviews. Everybody's got pretty much nothing but good things to say about it. This is a Volkswagen. This is a 2005 Volkswagen New Beetle Turbo. It's a turbo. Turbo engines should take very well to octane booster. I used to have an old Saab turbo that I used to put uh, the NOS octane boost in, and so that's what made me think. Mm, now that I got the Beetle running all perfect, uh, maybe I should throw some octane boost in there and uh, see how it runs. Okay, so I went on the Lucas Oil website and I printed off the information that they have on their website about this octane booster. So they say that this is a, a real octane booster, that it's tested and proven to deliver three times more boost than most other brands, and that it's a genuine performance enhancer. It's safe for turbos, oxygen sensors, catalytic converters, and apparently this octane booster is supposed to stop knocks and it raises the MPG, uh, the your fuel economy in high compression engines, and it's also available for motorcycles apparently. So the key benefits are that it's safe for the turbos, it's safe for your oxygen sensor, safe for catalytic convertibles, it's suitable for use in fuel injected and carbureted engines, provides more boost than most under uh, most other brands and promotes clean fuel burn for fewer emissions. Now, it says that uh, the directions are pour this entire bottle into the tank, then fill with any grade of gasoline. Now, last night, I like Shell gas. Last night, I went to Shell gas station and I already filled up with, uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, you can only get 91 octane. So I have 91 octane shell gasoline in here. And so now all we need to do is throw in that octane booster. Okay, so I've got the uh, got it all peeled off, got the cap open, everything like that. And it should be just as simple as pouring this stuff in there. Whoop, spilled a little bit of it. There we go. It's hard to do this sometimes one-handed trying to hold the camera. At any rate, it's all poured in there. Obviously, I just spilled just a very little bit. It's all in there. Let me get this gas cap out of the way. There we go. I can hear it going in there. You can probably hear that too. All right, so that can is in there. Obviously, as soon as I start driving, it'll start sloshing around and mixing. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go out cruising today. I gotta do some, some shopping and run some errands. So I'm gonna go drive it around for a little bit. And then, and then in this bag, I have my, uh, I have my GoPro head cam. I haven't, I've never put it on, but I'll put it on while I'm driving. So we'll see if we can feel any benefits of this because I'll be on the highway for a little bit. So maybe I'll put on the, the head cam and uh, give you a little update and then we'll wrap it up when I pull over somewhere. So uh, yeah. So before we get ready to roll out, I'm going to uh, grab this uh, California duster. I just actually ordered this California duster this is not the handle for a California Duster. The handle for a California duster, duster is wooden. But when I got the California Duster, the handle was all smashed like down in here. So I've got another one on order. But so I had a, a knockoff uh, California Duster where this handle actually ha happens to still fit the mop. So we'll California dust this car off. And then, uh, and it's super shiny. Look at that, look at the reflection on that. It's super shiny now. But we'll California dust the car off, and then uh, and then I'll get out on the uh, on the open road. Okay, so I'm sitting here uh, at a convenience store. I'm gonna run in and get something to drink real fast, and then I'm gonna hop on the highway, and then we'll see how this thing uh, feels. So far, it's been feeling pretty good. I've just been on uh, city streets, and uh, so far it feels really, really good. So we'll see. Okay, we're on the highway here and I just heard the spoiler go up if you know in the other video I said this car has a spoiler on it that goes up at about 50 miles an hour let's see how it feels oh, it feels pretty good it feels quite good I don't think we're gonna take that vent but I mean it feels pretty good yeah 
take a little drive down towards Portland, maybe. Well, actually, we're gonna go to the mall. So no, we look like we're headed towards Portland, but not really. That vet guy, his hair is all over the place, that guy. I guess we're gonna put a move on him. There we go. Oh yeah, that turbo boost feels good. All right, that's about fast enough, I think. I don't speed anymore these days, but it feels good. Car feels nice and smooth, but like I said, it felt good anyway after getting it back from service. Uh, I'm gonna probably think that this Octane Boost definitely is not gonna hurt this car. If anything, it's just gonna make it run a little bit smoother. I saw a lot of reviews on Amazon about uh, everybody, almost everybody was happy with this product. So I think I'm gonna give it a thumbs up for sure. I'm gonna keep driving it a little bit more. And we'll turn the camera on here in a little bit. The power delivery has, is very, very smooth. It feels good. I'm in fifth gear right now. I'm gonna do a downshift to fourth gear and get on this turbo. And it feels really good. I'm still not even really flooring it, to be honest with you. Suspension <laughs> feels a little loose. But we do need to take it in for some suspension work, so I probably shouldn't be pushing it too hard today. But it is kind of windy out here on the highway, honestly, today. It is very windy. Uh, car feels great. So I've been driving for a while, and uh, the car is performing great. And I really do think that this uh, Octane Boost is attributing to that. Uh, from everything I read, it'll raise the octane points about three points. And here in the Pacific Northwest, we get 91 octane gas. So maybe the car is running about 94 octane, which uh, slows the burn rate on a turbocharged engine, which allows you to run a little more boost without detonation. Uh, and so, yeah, that's great. Turbocharged uh, cars love higher octane. All right, guys, so Lucas Oil Products, a real octane booster. Here I am, I've driven from Oregon. Here I am in Washington. I'm at this uh, casino. I think I decided to stop at the casino for a minute, just for the heck of it. But uh, yeah, so that was a nice little drive for the car. It felt really, really, really good. Feels super strong. I think this product is a double thumbs up for sure. Definitely, car looks great. I'm really happy with everything. And this Octane Booster just really uh, puts a capper on it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for joining me. I hope this uh, review has been helpful to you. If it has, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you like this Beetle, again, I did a walk around review of this Beetle. I've got a playlist for this Beetle. I'll put that link in the description below. So make sure you check out one or two of those videos after you watch this one.